You're the Hello, everybody. Um, hi. If you're new to this channel, my name is Erica. I am a jazz and R&B vocalist and saxophone player local to New Orleans. And on this channel, I like to make educational content about music. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It seriously helps me. You don't want to miss out on all the exciting things. I make lots of educational videos, and I'm also starting to dabble in posting some of my own music. So stay tuned for that. Do you guys like plants? I've recently gotten into plants. They're all over my house now. I impulse bought like six of them, and I'm hoping I can take care of them, but I guess we will see. Please pray for my plants. I check them obsessively. I just don't know what they want. I stick my finger in the dirt, see if it feels moist, water as needed, or as I think is needed, whatever. But anyway, you asked for it. I'm going to be reacting to Mariah Carey singing You and I on the BET Walk of Fame. I heard this is great. Many people told me that I have to do this song. So I am super excited to check it out. Looks like this is a Stevie Wonder tribute. I actually don't know that I know this song. I guess we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna get started. It's one of the most incredible singer-songwriters in history. I'm sorry, I have to stop. She is so beautiful. I always am shocked at Mariah's beauty. A classic midi black dress, we love that. And I just love the sound of her voice when she speaks. You can hear there's a lot of natural color to it. Okay, we're getting a lot of air, which is nice. It leaves a lot of room to build, but I notice even though it's super breathy, there's still a lot of brightness in it. It is not a dark sound. It's It's not on a together And notice there's a lot of air, so it's kind of hard to discern, but she did not use a lot of vibrato until that last word, I. As you and I. I had some quick little vibrato on it, but before that, it was a straight tone. It's a little bit difficult to discern because it, she's giving us really, really breathy tone. I love a little touch of an airy sound, especially in the beginning of a song like this, but really no vibrato until that last note. So that is an example of terminal vibrato or vibrato on the end. God has made us did you hear the vocal fry she started that note with? Usman, Usman. Super modern way to start a note, very common in popular music. And now she's starting to give us a little bit less air. So she's really building the performance already. Usman. It wasn't Usman, which was kind of how she sang the first part of the song. And did you hear the little crescendo through it? Usman. It was subtle. She gradually got louder. She crescendoed. Usman. On the word more. And also, I think that's the second time she did that same turn. She did it on you earlier. You at about 54 seconds, same turn. There's a lot more air in the first one, so it was a little bit more difficult to hear, but she used the same turn twice. I just want to point it out. God has made us fall in love. It's true. I'm oh, and those same turns again, but this time she did it twice. True. Same idea. <laughs> Ah, who is that? I really found someone like you. Ugh, oh, right there, I was loving how on the word really and felt, she didn't put any vibrato on those long notes. She sang them with a straight tone. And then on someone like you, she gave us vibrato in the middle of the phrase. So she didn't use terminal vibrato. She kind of used vibrato throughout the whole phrase. Really felt. Hear that? It wasn't 
really felt no vibrato also notice how bright this sound she is that she's giving us i think this era of mariah was a lot brighter someone like you and then someone like you just had like a little teeny bit of vibrato inside the phrase like as she was saying the words mm -hmm. yes. Same turn as before. Uh, Heard that? That might have been like the fourth or fifth time she's done that. Literally nothing wrong with that. It just, I like to point it out because people hear these performances and they're like, oh my God, so many notes. But if you pick them apart, it's a lot of the same ideas just recycled and transformed into something different. Did you hear that little lift? Will you stay? I cannot hit those low notes. Will you stay? Hear the space in between? It wasn't, will you stay? There was space between will and you stay. She kind of clipped will short. I like a choice like that. Will you stay? But you will be by my side. See. Side. Again. Sis was really here in that turn today. Another longer note where she didn't use vibrato. See, I'm really loving that. My life. I love vibrato, but I don't like it when people overuse it. So I'm really liking that she's using the straight tone. She's giving us a good mix of both. Oh. Uh. Oh. Loved that. Oh. And did you notice the first half of that run was in a much more forward mix with not a lot of air in it? Huh, huh, huh. And then the second half, she kind of flipped into a head voice, super whispery, super airy like quality. Huh, 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 huh. Like, really listen to the difference between part one huh, 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 and part two. It wasn't, it wasn't also, she started with that clearer, more forward, a little more in the nasal resonators, brighter, less air. And on part two, she gave it some air. She gave back that whispery quality. I talk about this a lot in my Mariah uh, reactions, especially like in this era of her career, she really was using a lot of those different spots and she would pop in and out of super airy to more forward mix with no air. Like she's all over the place. So that was another example. Well, I'm sorry, I'm stopping so much. There's just so many little details that I want to talk about. But did you hear the space between each of those notes on We Can Conquer? We can conquer. She made them staccato. It's not We Can Conquer. They weren't connected. She clipped each of them and put some space in between each note, which really stands out in a really slow, airy, very legato ballad like this one. Uh, uh, uh. So whispery and delicate. I am glad. You hear that vocal fry? Uh, also, oh, there's our favorite turn again. I, at least in my life, I found something. Learn us again. Notice she's a lot brighter now and she's starting to pull some of the air back, which I'm at the point where I'm like, give it to us, girl. We heard a lot of breathiness. We loved it. Let's hear some momentum. May not be here forever to see me through. What? It's like two turns twice in a row. And also that vowel, it wasn't through, through. She really kind of 
makes it narrow. Mm. And it's kind of pure, meaning there's not a lot of like diphthong on it. I hate that word. Diphthong is, for example, it's like when a vowel closes off. It's like A, that ye on the end of the A, it's like A, Y, 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 Y. That is a diphthong. I know, disgusting. Who would name it that? But this vowel is really pure. It wasn't through. And I also loved C that came right before. That's kind of tricky. C. Yes, I did. Little super soulful R&B cliche, like just hidden in amongst all these amazing runs she's giving us. Raya is full of really great soulful language. Yeah, the background singer. She always has really, really good background singers. Sometimes they're a little too loud. I think they could be a little softer here too, so we could hear her better, but they're really good nonetheless. Did you hear that in the background singer? Super soulful, I love it. Just notice how really E sounding that vowel was. Me. Sometimes people sing E's and they kind of go me. And they kind of make it like an ooh, but with like, it's like a German E, I think. I'm not a classical singer, so I, I couldn't tell you. But I think that's when you make an ooh on the inside of your mouth or an O, oh, and with your lips, you make an E. So you get kind of a ee. versus that true E, which is e. much clearer, more modern sound. Me. What? I also loved the straight on happens. On happens, she didn't put any vibrato on that, which I liked. That was very contrasting. Also on the front of puns of happens, she kind of put like a little baby scoop into it. It's really, really small. Happens to me. It's not happens, happens. And she kind of like drags it just a little bit, but like it makes it feel good. I mean, it's hip. Happens. Feel that tiny little scoop that I'm putting in the front of the puns. Buns. It's not happens. Buns. It's like a little accent and a tiny little scoop. It's giving us, she's styling it a little bit. No, no. Oh, did you notice that in the background singers? Always. The background singers also sang that. Everybody sang that in unison alongside Mariah. So the background singers also went always. Some of them sang the octave up. Always. And when they got to the top note, was, they broke into a chord. So everyone was unison for those three notes. I love that because it makes the harmony like really stand out when they do break into a chord after. Did you hear at the end of that too, the background singers? Ways. Did you hear that little run at the end? It sounded kind of like they had multiple people doing that together. That would be super cool. I am always so impressed when people riff in unison or harmony, like just multiple people singing runs together is really challenging because everyone's voices are different and like you can't really be sure how the runs are gonna sound. It's not like saxophone, like it's not like you press buttons at the same time. Your voice is kind of just, it does what it's gonna do. Obviously we work super hard to be in control all the time, but at the end of the day, eh. You and I, you and I. F sharp six, that's pretty high. Oh. I noticed that it's like the vowel on the whistle is kind of like wide. It kind of sounds like a pure vowel. Sometimes you hear whistles and they're really like an E or like really whistly and narrow, but this one is not. 
I should not be doing that right now. But super interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another ascending run. Mariah's famous for those, or at least in my opinion, she is. Yeah, yeah. She does the classic Mariah Carey thing, which is she starts the ascending run with a lot of darkness. Like she really lowered that larynx. Yeah, yeah. And as she went up, she got brighter. Did you hear she punched those notes? She really accented them, made them staccato too. We can't go longer. It's not, we can't go longer. She didn't sing them legato. She really punched them and made them staccato. There's space in between each one. They are separate. Also notice how she's bringing her sound really forward. It's on, we can't go longer. She's not trying to yell it. It's a good mix and it's super bright. And there's no air in it. cute it's a turn oh and then it's two scoops oh yes we can not super soulful she goes up to that flat three so if our pentatonic scale is one two three five six eight that third note one two three she lowers it flat three two one yes we can it's not Yes, we can. Hear how that flat three brings some like bluesiness, some soul to it. In jazz, we would call that a blues note. It's like an altered or a lowered note based on the blues scale. It's usually a three or a five or a seven. If you want some more music theory um, kind of stuff, check out my riffing videos where I actually break down runs and I do go into that more. <laughs> That's not exactly what it was, but it was some variation of that. You, you. No. I love runs that end in hi. Any run that ends in that, I'm just like crazy about it. I don't know why. It's kind of like that, but she did something different with it. I can't figure it out, but that was really cute. And I love that she gave it to us on like a super whispery, breathy head voice. And then she hits us in the face with a big climax of the song, that last mix bell. And uh, and she really let it ring with no vibrato. And notice the vowel too, it's not ah, it's duh. It's like an oh, uh, a little eye on it. <laughs> And then for that run on the end, she totally changed the vowel. She made it real I, Y, and smiley with a little bit of that dip thong. You know who does that a lot? Stevie Wonder. And also a lot of people of this era and this genre of music. But hear how it, it contrasts so much from and, uh, that vowel, which was like an uh, to I. Hear that? Kind of ugly, but like in a stylistic way. Yes. Love how she ended with that. Oh, he's so beautiful. I love the little smile at the end. This is such an interesting performance because it's super low, super airy. Like there were not a lot of big bells. We had that one moment of the whistle, but there was not like a lot of super high mixes or anything like that. Really great runs though. She had that, hey, she used that idea a ton. She really was able to transform it and give us lots of different new ideas. And so I really love that. Maybe I'll break down some of these runs for my riffing series. She's really breathy, so her voice almost kind of sounds irritated to me. I don't know if that's the case, obviously. Voices get irritated a lot. I am a singer. I am always being neurotic about, oh my God, my voice doesn't feel great. Literally anything from coffee, alcohol, allergies, staying up late at night, dry air could make your voice feel irritated and can make you sound a little bit hoarse the next day. So maybe her voice was irritated. I don't know, that's just a guess. Maybe she was struggling with her nodes at this time, who knows. I also wonder if this performance is dubbed. There were a couple times where it looked like she, like, 
was pulling away from the microphone, but it was still sounding really loud. But I don't know. She dubs performances, right? Because especially with like her issues with her vocal health. I I really have no idea. I'll tell you though, if I was a pop star, I would freaking lip sync. However much they gotta perform, I ain't straining my beautiful voice that much. If I need to sing eight days a week at weird hours of the night, like you bet your ass I'm lip syncing. Like that is super strenuous on your voice. So I never shade people for being dubbed. I just wonder if it is, but I don't know. I hope y'all enjoyed my crazy reaction. I really enjoyed this performance. Thank you for everyone who forced me to do it. If you are new to this channel, like I said before, make sure you subscribe because you do not want to miss out on all the reactions, all the educational videos, and some music here and there. You don't want to miss it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all of you who support me. I love all of you so much and reading your comments brings me so much joy. So you all take care of yourselves. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Mwah. Goodbye, I love you.